all right well what is up guys so today i'm gonna be showing off a new build today this build is a glass cannon and it relies on daggers okay so starting out with the stats here we are level 125 we have 40 vigor 20 mind 20 endurance 50 dexterity and 52 arcane the rest of it is 10 we started as a wretched so we are just even all across the board so now this build can be used in pvp as it is a level 125 build which is around the pvp meta or you could just do pve it works great in both and that's about it so let's go ahead and get into the equipment so starting out with the equipment we have the reduvia now this one if you have basically played the game you probably ran into the npc that drops this it is going to be let's see it's going to be inside here the murkwater cave you're going to go in this area and you're going to get invaded by an npc and then it'll drop the reduvia the reduvia has arcane b scaling which is really good with this build and then it also does 90 blood loss build up per attack which is absolutely huge usually you only get like 50 but you're getting almost double that next up we have the scorpion stinger it's going to be around this area and once you get it it is a complete powerhouse as scarlet rot basically acts as a more potent poison it doesn't stay on for as long as normal poison but it deals significantly more damage so that's why i want it so we can proc both bleed and scarlet rot at the same time now the armor really doesn't matter the only thing i would recommend is getting a silver tier mask the reason why is because this gives you plus e arcane at the cost of i think five percent reduced physical damage and that 5% is no big deal whatsoever. So it's totally worth it and it will give you some more uh, bleed damage. The first talisman we have is the Lord of Blood Exaltion. This just makes it so that every time there's blood loss in your general area, it'll increase your attack power for a little while. Super good. The second talisman we have is the Rotten Wing Sword Insignia. This one greatly raises your attack power with successive attacks. With daggers, because they are so quick, you can get a lot of hits in. So this is just going to allow you to do more damage because you're going to be getting a lot of hits in. And each time you do a hit, you'll get more attack power with your next attack. Next up, we have the Kindred of Raw Exhaustion. This one functions basically the same thing as the Lord of Blood one, but except it does Scarlet Rot or Poison instead. And it'll increase your attack power when one of those two happen. So for this one, we're obviously targeting the Scarlet Rot. Every time this dagger... Every time this dagger inflicts Scarlet Rot onto an enemy, you will get bonus attack power for a period of time. And then lastly, we just have the Ritual Sword Talisman for a flat 10% attack. And then lastly, we have a lastly we have the Ritual Sword Talisman, and this is just a flat attack power boost when your HP is at maximum. That is basically the entire build. Really, the only thing that is really, really important, I'd say, is the two daggers, as well as the this talisman and this talisman so the two ones that proc whenever you actually are killing something all right let's go ahead and show it in a boss fight here you want to have the reduvia in your main hand because the weapon art is better than the scorpion stinger so let's go ahead and see if we can make quick work of this fight i need him to give me a bit of a something some sort of opening oh there we go look at that Fight's almost over already. We got Scarlet Raw and Bleed proc, so now we're going to be doing more damage. And that's the fight over. It's really just that easy. We look a little, a little weird, but... I mean, this build is insane. Okay, now there's definitely some bosses where this build will lack in. Um, any boss that has Bleed Immunity or... Scarlet Rot immunity is obviously going to be harder to take down. So while this build does do really good damage against some bosses, there is some bosses where it might lack a little bit in. All right, so here's just one last example. I just want to showcase it against different bosses. Some bosses it will absolutely shred. Some bosses it might struggle a little bit against. So while it's not a perfect build, I do think it's a very fun build. And I think that it has some pretty big benefits. And I think it's... I think it's good. I'm probably going to run this again. So 
but we have yet to get a proc for either Scarlet Rot or for neither Scarlet Rot or uh, Bleed, which is unlucky. Oh, there's a bleed. Here we can get some damage in, maybe. Oh, wait, no, we did get Scarlet Rot. Oh, phase two. Good timing. The only bad thing is that the Scarlet Rot does go away in a phase change. As you can see, it does pretty good against basically everything, but the thing is that it does really good against certain things that are susceptible to bleed and scarlet rot. That's all I wanted to show for today. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more, and let me know if there's any other builds you want to see.